when people talk about Iran's drone arsenal, names like Shahed-136 or Mohajer-6 usually dominate the conversation. But beneath those well-known systems, Iran has quietly developed a wide range of smaller, cheaper and highly specialized drones. One of the least discussed but potentially most interesting is the Mirage 504. In this video, we take a closer look at this little-known Iranian suicide drone and why it matters more than its size suggests. The Mirage 504 did not begin as a frontline weapon. Its design is based on the Mirage 214, an Iranian training UAV used primarily for instruction and testing. By adapting an existing platform, Iranian engineers working under the IRGC ground forces were able to quickly develop a low-cost combat drone. The Mirage 504 was first revealed quietly during internal military exhibitions, not through major public unveilings. This low-profile introduction reflects its role, a tactical tool rather than a strategic showpiece. The Mirage 504 uses a delta wing configuration with foldable wings, allowing it to be transported easily and launched from compact mobile systems. Key design characteristics include lightweight construction, simple aerodynamic shape, and minimal radar and visual signature. The emphasis is not on endurance or payload, but on fast deployment and expendability. Every aspect of the design reflects its intended role as a disposable strike asset. The drone weighs approximately 30 to 40 kilograms, making it significantly lighter than Iran's more famous loitering munitions. It is powered by a small gasoline piston engine, which provides adequate speed for short-range missions, low manufacturing cost, and simple maintenance. This propulsion choice also allows Iran to produce the drone in large numbers without relying on advanced or expensive components. The Mirage 504 carries a 2.5 kilogram warhead mounted in the nose of the drone. This payload is not designed to destroy heavily armored targets. Instead, it is optimized for light vehicles, small installations, radar units or support equipment, and concentrated personnel positions. Once launched, the drone has no recovery system, reinforcing its role as a true kamikaze or loitering munition. One of Mirage 504's most practical features is that it does not require a runway. It is launched from a mobile launcher, allowing ground units to deploy it quickly and relocate immediately after launch. This improves survivability and flexibility. Guidance is believed to rely on basic GPS navigation and a simple onboard camera for terminal guidance. While not sophisticated, this system is sufficient for short-range tactical strikes where cost and speed matter more than precision at extreme distances. The Mirage 504 has an estimated range of around 100 kilometers, placing it firmly in the tactical category. It has appeared multiple times in Iranian military exercises such as Araz, suggesting growing confidence in the platform. However, there are no confirmed reports of combat use so far. Even so, repeated exercise appearances indicate that the drone is considered operationally viable. Foreign analysts have expressed concern not because Mirage 504 is powerful, but because it is cheap and scalable. Systems like this challenge conventional military economics. A low-cost drone can threaten high-value equipment, mass production enables saturation tactics, and losses are acceptable due to affordability. Unlike larger drones such as Shahed-136, Mirage 504 is faster, lighter, 
and better suited for close-range battlefield use by ground forces. The Mirage 504 may never make headlines on its own, but it represents something important. Iran's diversification of drone warfare. By fielding drones of different sizes, ranges, and costs, Iran increases tactical flexibility and complicates enemy defense planning. In modern conflicts, sometimes the most impactful weapons are not the biggest, but the most affordable and adaptable.